What's up, everybody? It's Sewas here from Envy, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your stream as well as give you some tips that'll help you once you're live. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one. One of the most important things about setting up your stream is your camera. I use a Sony a6400 mirrorless camera with a 16 millimeter lens. Uh, I use two cables connected to the camera. One is a micro USB cable that then goes into an Elgato capture card, which then goes into my PC device. The other one is a power source dummy battery that just makes sure that my camera is always connected to a power source and never runs out of battery for those really long streams. I like to set up my camera on the left side because it's my good side. It really comes down to preference. Some people have it right in front of you in the middle. I like to keep it on my left side. I like my left side. I also have a tattoo here. So I like that to show. It really comes down to preference uh, on how you want the stream to see you or what side uh, of your face you want your stream to see the most. Once you have your camera all plugged in and ready to go, you're then going to jump into OBS to add it as a video capture device. You're going to how you do that is under scenes. You're going to find whatever scene you want to add your camera to and then go to sources under sources. You're going to click on this plus icon. You're going to click on video capture device and click on add source. You're going to name this source right here. We're going to name this camera. Next, you're going to select the elgato 4k capture card this is the one i use add source and you should have your camera propped up tip number two setting up your mic setting up your mic is a very simple process if you're starting off it'll probably just be a usb mic that you'll plug directly into your computer place it on a stand and put it right in front of you but we're gonna take your sound to the next level once your mic is plugged in and ready to go, you're gonna go to settings right here on the bottom left. You're gonna go to audio. You're gonna go to mic and auxiliary device one, select your mic, click on done. Your mic should start popping up just like this. And here's where the magic happens. We're gonna go to settings under that mic, go to filters, and we're gonna add two filters. One is a gain. So your chat can hear you loud and clear, usually about three gain. And another is a noise gate. So it gets rid of a lot of the background noise. Now, everybody's background noise is different. So you're going to have to test it out and see what works for you. Play around with the sliders and see which one gets rid of your background noise without getting rid of your actual voice. Um, that way you sound loud and clear and there is no background noise, no keyboard clicking or mouse clicking or anything like that. That way it's just your beautiful voice. Tip number three, how to set up your scenes in OBS. There are two major scenes you want to set up in OBS when you're starting the stream, and that is your intermission screen when you're talking to your chat, and number two is your gaming screen. We're going to show you how to set those two up. Setting up your intermission screen is just one of those things that makes your whole stream look a little more professional when you have a dedicated stream for you to interact with your chat and talk to them in between games or what you're doing just chatting streams and things like that and it's just a screen that's get dedicated to your camera uh and so we covered this under tip number one and it's just making sure that your screen really covers your camera and if that's not the case if it's set up where it doesn't cover your whole screen you're just gonna right click on that source go to transform fit to screen and now it covers your full screen one of the little twists that i like to also add is just Adding your chat box to the right hand side just adds one of those things of professionalism and the look to your stream um, under widgets here. You're going to click on chat box, add source, place it wherever you would like right hand side or left, wherever you would like, depending on where you have your camera set up and it makes your stream look a little more professional. Now that we have your intermission screen set up, another very important screen to set up is your gaming screen. You're gonna be able to share with your stream any game that you play or YouTube video that you're watching with them, as well as your reaction. And how you do that is, we're gonna go over to scenes and click on this plus icon. It's gonna give you a new scene. Under sources, you're gonna click on the plus icon again. Go to display capture. 
add source we've already added one but we're gonna do it all over just so you guys can see how it's done click on add source again and it's going to show you all the displays or monitors connected to your pc right here in this case we're going to use display one click done and it's going to give us a full screen of everything that's going on in our monitor so your stream and yourself can look at it as well under sources we're going to click on the plus icon again go to video capture device add source your camera should already be showing up there click on add source again it's most likely going to fill the screen like this we're going to select the middle of the screen and use the drop down to size your screen and your camera smaller so they're able to look at your monitor. And now you have a gaming screen. Tip number four lighting lighting is one of the most important things when setting up your stream it may seem like one of those things that is not as important but it can make the biggest difference i have two components when setting up lighting in my room one is how well my face is lit up i have two elgato key lights one on the right one on the left making sure both sides of my face is perfectly lit up for my camera to pick up if i was to turn these guys off you guys are going to see the much of how much of a difference it really makes wow that's why you guys want to make sure you have a well-lit face sometimes you can get away with just having a ring light in front of you or just a small light depending on how much lighting it really is going on in your room another component i have going on in my room as far as lighting is the rbg lights behind me i'm gonna turn these guys off and show you guys the big difference and ambiance and feeling to the stream if i didn't have them A little boring isn't it and so that's why you guys want to make sure and pay attention to all the lighting all the decorations behind your stream and everything going on at once uh when compiling the full when compiling the full image tip number five personality and i would say is the most important part and also the most challenging about being a streamer uh, when you're streaming you want to make sure you bring your community good vibes high energy you make sure that you make them feel special that you're actually interacting with them it's not just another face playing a game there's thousands of people trying to do that it's what's gonna make you different one of the things that i do is take a look at my vods take a look at my previous streams go over it and ask myself is this something that i would literally enjoy watching myself is this something that i will enjoy watching myself um and that's how i strive myself and that's how i push myself every day to be a better streamer uh it's how to interact with my community better how what can i do uh to interact with them better to bring them better energy to bring them better vibes and if you focus on doing that every single day uh you will be a better streamer and you will make your community feel special and you're naturally just gonna grow well these are my tips to help you get started with your stream i hope you found this helpful and you could use some of these things to help you with your next stream thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already see you guys next time